Your ophthalmologist has recommended strabismus surgery. Strabismus is when your eyes are not properly lined up together and do not look at the same thing at the same time. The brain ignores images from one eye, leading to poor vision in that eye. Adults with strabismus often have double vision and poor depth perception, where it is hard to judge how far an object is from you. With strabismus surgery, your eyes can be lined up more evenly with each other to improve how you see. When the eyes are not lined up evenly, it is called strabismus. With this condition, the eyes do not work together. Each eye will send a different image to the brain. To avoid confusion, the brain learns to ignore the image from the weaker eye. Most of the time, strabismus is caused by problems with how nerves and the brain control the eye muscles. The goal of strabismus surgery is to adjust the eye muscles so the two eyes are even with each other, looking at the same object at the same time. This helps your eyes have binocular or two-eyed vision. Binocular vision is necessary for depth perception, which is the ability to judge how far an object is from you. Depth perception is also your ability to see the world in three dimensions, or how high, wide, and deep an object is. Strabismus surgery is usually done as an outpatient procedure, so you can go home afterwards. For the surgery, you will have medicine to numb your eyes and help you relax, or you may have general anesthesia. The eye's muscles are attached to the sclera, the white of the eye. During strabismus surgery, the eye surgeon will make a small opening through the conjunctiva, the thin layer of clear tissue covering the eye. From there, he or she will reach the eye muscle. The surgeon will adjust the length or position of the muscles to make the eye work properly. It takes about a month or so to know the results of the surgery. It is possible that you may need additional strabismus surgery to keep your eyes even. Your eye surgeon also may recommend glasses, perhaps some with prisms in the lenses, to help your eyes work together. As with any surgery, there are possible risks with strabismus surgery. Strabismus surgery risks can include sore eyes, redness, eyes that are still uneven, double vision, infection, bleeding, a scratch on the cornea, decreased vision, retinal detachment where the tissue lining the back of the eye lifts up, and problems from anesthesia. Alternatives to strabismus surgery may include using certain types of glasses with prisms in the lenses or injections of a drug in the eye muscle. Your ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose surgery to treat your strabismus. You do not have to have strabismus surgery. However, your vision problems will continue if your strabismus is left untreated. Each year, thousands of people have strabismus surgery to improve their vision and their quality of life. If you have any questions or concerns about the procedure, ask your ophthalmologist. He or she will be happy to help you understand the risks and benefits of strabismus surgery. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your eyes or vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your sight.